Morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the day of the video, Darren, how's it going today? Today, I'm in the difficult scenario where Laura's gone out for a run. Um, she went, like, relatively recently, she just went to the, she went about 15 minutes ago to go out for a run before breakfast and stuff. Um, and I'm whapping out some casual code over here, but then Graham wanted to come out, so I let Graham out. We're trying to get her in the habit of coming out, like, in the morning time and in the evening time. So, but because I'm doing work, I'm going to put her in a ball for 15 minutes and I'll hold her for a bit later. I need to clean, clean, a ball, uh, clean a cage out today as well, so she's going to be getting knackered by the end of the day. Bless her. Yeah, we had a nice lie in today. The alarm went off at 8, but I didn't get up till quarter to 9. Because <laughs> I was tired. Um, but yeah, so anyway. Why do I have... Oh, so, so excess steps. Of course I do. God damn it. Um, I'm just... Pushing a change through in here, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. It's running around still. Done that. Where Laura's in the shower. We're about to go in the shower. And before we have breakfast and stuff. Um, the data I need is now in the source config. I now need it to be in the um, eye test uh, solution. Um, which is the information that pummels through. Um, and then I've also got to attempt to derive it if it's not there. So that's the next bit I need to do. But I'm happy with that. So cool stuff. And we've come for a weekend excursion to, not a weekend, it's a Saturday excursion to Cribs Causeway, ladies and gentlemen. How long until we realize, remember how boring it is? <laughs> half, an half, half an hour? Half <laughs> an hour? Uh, that's generous. The minute estimate was pretty accurate. We're back, we're having lunch. Laura's making tuna and cheese toasties, which I've never had before. I don't think I've ever had tuna and cheese toasties. Mm. It's good, it's a cool, good combo, but this is experimental method. Yeah, because we're doing it, we don't have a toasty maker. Do you use toasty maker normally? Yeah, like a little sandwich. Press thing. Yeah. Mm. So we're using this. Um, but yeah, so, Cribs is alright, it's just, we don't need anything, do we, in our little lives? No. We thought about getting lunch out as well, but it's too busy. Oh, Christ. Right, right. I'm to listen and learn it. Eh? <laughs> Time jump, ladies and gentlemen, and that was scrum diddly umptious. It was very, very good. Um, after lunch, uh, we kind of just chilled, chilled out a little bit. This is really good. Um, we hovered around, uh, we did a couple of washes, we did two clothes washes today, and then um, I was doing some programming on my laptop while Laura was sorting out some application stuff. Um, so she was working away on her laptop, I was working away in there doing some programming. Um, the thing that I'm trying to pump through, it's relatively... I've delved into the area of like, there's quite big, like the bit that handles the um, file directories. It's quite a sizeable chunk. Um, and I'm delving into it and trying to figure out where where exactly is the best place to initialise this variable because um, it doesn't necessarily make sense to initialise it where everything else has been initialised because it's not relevant to that bit. It's relevant to a different bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on getting that through. Um, I think I've figured it out and I've started building up the um, area. Once I've done it, I need to build up the acceptance test area as well. So there's that. Um, otherwise though, after that, we then came into here. We had some dinner. Uh, we had um, gammon, gammon chips, eggs and beans. I, egg and beans. Laura had, um, didn't have an egg though, and had sweet potato wedges. Um, and then after that, we... Changed two sets of wheels. We changed our bedding because we were doing a wash, and then we changed the hamster's bedding. So Graham now is in a nice new shiny clean cage. It generally looks like she's never been in it. Food bowl's full. Her bedding's there. There's nothing in a tube. And ladies and gentlemen, we think we may, I think, touching wood, we may have won the bed battle. The last couple of days we just kind of let her have a tube, but now today we obviously took the tube off, cleaned it because it's fucking full of poo. She like you know, keeps her poo exactly where she keeps her food. She's not like a tramp. And she like digs through her own poo to find which pit of food she wants to eat. Christ. <laughs> but yeah, so we cleaned that all out, cleaned out the entire thing. Um, oh, she just fell through. Um, and put it all in a bed in. And now she's come back and she's not foraging stuff away in a tube. And oh, she's gonna fall off the bed again. No, she's not. Basically, we tidied everything out. Her tube no longer, like, it. I think it 
because we didn't clean it out for a while, we just kind of let her build a nest in there. When we did clean it, it removed more of a smell as opposed to like just only a little bit of a smell. Um, so I think we may be into a winner. She's been in her bed a couple of times and she went in like she pushed foraging around in there and then she'd like pushed out half of her bed and she came out and then dug it back in again. So hopefully, that's, hopefully if she's not lost like, if I wake up tomorrow and she's in a tube, it's going to break my heart. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, otherwise it isn't it tomorrow. Um, we're going to walk, we're going to go to shops to go and um, get some bread because we're going to have stew tomorrow for dinner. Um, and other ones, but it really. I think we're just going for a walk. I don't know of any plans, which is good. Um, obviously, we start back at uni on Monday. Monday is going to be a long, weird day as well, so I've got to do some prep for it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's good, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Absolutely fucking heartbroken.